<laughs> Hello guys, I should get place. I'm Fabio Pisco and oh, I'm, I'm taking off my glasses first. Hello guys, I should get place. I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you another awesome video. This time with Athlon 200G versus the Ryzen 5 2400G on a CPU test, so not with the integrated graphics. Athlon versus the Ryzen using an overclocked RX 480 so a mid and GPU. Well, I made this video because many people are restricted budget wise and don't have much money to invest on a gaming PC, mostly on the gaming CPU. So I'm doing um, I'm doing a, a CPU test versus other CPU tests because, for example, the Athlon 200G is currently costing $50 and most people will have to make a choice. For example, Ryzen 5 2400, let's say with a GTX 1050 or the Athlon 200G with an RX 480. And people also like to know and people, most of people want to know if, for example, the, um, the Athlon 200G overclocked can indeed um, pull decent FPS numbers with a mid and GPU like the RX 480 or the GTX 1060 and this video is here for you. <coughs> this video will have 720p and 1080p. 720p is to try and emulate a higher end GPU imagine. If you wanted to use let's say a GTX 1070 or a GTA or even for example a Vega 56 like I have there, if you wanted to use an even stronger GPU um, the 720p results would be the 1080p results on, um, on a stronger GPU, that's why 720p is there. And also, f as for the Athlon, Athlon has the stock values at 3.2 GHz and the overclocked values at 3.9 GHz. If you don't know how to overclock your Athlon 200G, watch this video because I made a tutorial for it and it's pretty easy to do it. Thanks a lot for watching, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that really helps a lot. And let's now go to the part that really interests you, interest, I fucking hate A few moments later. To the part that really interests you, the benchmarks. See you in the resume. The first game tested today is Rainbow Six Siege. At 1080p we can see the Athlon 200G doing an average of 142 FPS. Overclocking it to 3.9 GHz makes a pretty good difference, mostly on 1% lows. Considering the price tag of $50, this Athlon does its job really really well. But Ryzen 5 2400G already pushes around 20 FPS more at 1080p and once you reduce the resolution or use a better GPU, the difference gets even bigger. Now on Far Cry 5, which is known for loving frequency and IPC. At 720p, where there is no GPU bottleneck, we can see the Ryzen 5 2400G completely stomping over the Athlon 200GE, but nobody with an RX 580 or a GTX 1060 will play at 720p medium settings. Going now to a more real scenario, at 1080p, Athlon 200GE, once overclocked, does fairly well. In fact, it is able to maintain a smooth experience since 1% lows are really close to 60.
Now, to start with competitive gaming, CSGO. Using very low settings, we have no GPU bottleneck, being it 720p or 1080p. The overclocked Athlon 200G manages to get an average FPS of around 250, which is already pretty decent even for a more serious player. Obviously, it gets stomped by the Ryzen 5 2400G with a difference of 83 FPS on average, 83, meaning that in some parts the difference may be even bigger. Still, not bad at all for $50. So I go. Dota 2 is also known to be quite CPU demanding if you want high FPS numbers, but we should not be looking at average FPS here, but instead 1% lows. The 1% lows value at 1080p using the Athlon is 40 FPS, and even overclocked the number will only raise to 49.9 FPS, meaning that the gameplay won't be completely smooth on the Athlon. This is due to it only being a dual core with simultaneous multi-threading. With the Ryzen 5 2400G though, you get 1% lows always above 60 FPS. The last game tested today is League of Legends. Unlike Dota, League of Legends can be easily played on the Athlon 200G at more than 100 FPS while maintaining a completely smooth experience. Ryzen 5 2400G is indeed ahead, but I expected a bigger difference in this game. At 1080p we have a difference of around 30 FPS on average and 20 FPS on 1% lows between the overclocked Athlon and the Ryzen 5 2400G. But, both CPUs are able to deliver over 120 FPS, which makes the Athlon 200G an excellent choice for budget builders. Let's now go to the conclusion. Well guys, concluding. So, Athlon versus the Ryzen 5 2400G. This is a, a no-brainer, because the Ryzen 5 2400G is utterly faster than the Athlon. Also, Ryzen 5 2400G is a 4-core, 8-threaded CPU and the Athlon 200G is a 2-core, 4-threaded CPU, so it's double the cores and double the threads, so the difference is already big by there. But there is the main, um, the main thing that we should look at in here, which is the price. Ryzen 5 2400G costs almost 3 times as the Athlon 200G. For budget builders, we can say that money is really, really important. And well, if I had to choose between a Ryzen 5 2400G and a GTX 1050 or a RX 560, between these and for example an Athlon 200G and for example an RX 570 or a GTX 1050 3GB or even the 6GB one, I would definitely pick the Athlon plus GTX or Athlon plus RX 570 because the combo will be a lot better if mostly, yes, even better if you overclock your Athlon. So for 1080p 60fps or even 1440p 60fps or a bit less, you are okay and really really good to go. So well, it comes basically to choices. If you have the money to invest, let's say the, the $100 more to invest on a better CPU, then go for the Ryzen 5 2400G, no doubt. But if you are restricted wise, on budget and you have uh, you have a small margin you can grab this Athlon for now and have a better GPU and then when you can over, when you can upgrade your CPU maybe later then you have already a base you have already a motherboard ready for it and you just need to upgrade the CPU and you will have a pretty pretty cool system and that's it guys I made this video because I didn't see much of this on the internet so I decided to to make it uh, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video because it really matters a lot, it really matters. And don't forget, I will be doing um, the review of this headset, the Thunder X3 AH7, um, I'll be doing the review of this headset this week. So don't miss it because it will be awesome. One more time, that's all for today guys, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a comment on the comment section and tell me what you think about this video and what you think about these benchmarks. And thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.